Right, looks like someone's been in there, broken into the chapel. If there had been anything in there, it's been stolen. I don't know if it was a chapel, it just feels like it might have been one. You know what I mean? Just to that window there and... There's a little bird tweeter in a way here. But it's definitely more, maybe people come to pinch a lead. Hmm. There's a view of the walled garden out there, see? Yes, yeah, a lovely day today. And I always felt as if this might have been a type of chapel. It could have just been a barn. Over and up for a minute. Right. I'm only doing short, very few videos. So, although I've taken photographs of Wordsworth's home, of Fox and House, just to check, see how it's doing. I'm not doing many videos, so I haven't, deliberately haven't spent time videoing all that, but I have just taken some photos. And now I've come up through a valley past our Foxton, heading for the top, where the bracken beaters are kept. I've walked up from down from the valley, just come straight up, just to get a view up here. Get a view up here on this top path instead of just walking straight up the valley. I thought I'd I'd get up and have a walk up here. I've never done this before. I do like to explore. It gives you a much greater feeling of a place and the trees and everything. Yeah. And I'll be carrying over like I said, you're, um, the trick point area down through a plantation, I think it's called. I'm heading for the plantation, which I covered last year, but from the other direction. So today, I'm going not exactly in the reverse route because I went down the other side of, um, of Foxton Wood when I did it last time, I think, or I might have even gone down by Bicknoller Post. But I've covered all these areas one way or another. I'm um, just basically scouting around, scanning and scouting. I feel like there's a track over there. Something tells me there's a track over there, and I believe there is, but I'm not. I'm quite happy to stay on this one for now. But in a minute, we will join up at a junction point where you can make decisions of which way you want to go. So there's a path coming down there. See, so going down there, look. I think I'll stay up now. I still feel there's a path over there. I've taken my hat, scarf, gloves and coat off. I said I would, didn't I? Yeah, taking them off. For now. I don't think I'll be having them on all day. I went and looked around the ward garden. Walked around our Fox and House a minute ago, took loads of photos. I'm bound to get attacked by ticks because um, I'm going off track. This is where the ticks want you to walk. And they will be waking up and they will be very hungry ticks. <sighs> I get a bite nearly every time I come out. They're not always the limes ones. They can be they're nasty though. But it's a part of... You either come out and getting a few bites off sight, or you never come out and explore. So, I'm out. 
having a look around. Just having a look around. Little shelter there, or wouldn't have thought they'd have a bonfire here. But that would definitely be a little shelter for somebody on a temporary basis there, if necessary. I still feel there's a track just over there, I just feel it. Rather than go down, there's a gate there, I know that leads through the old Foxham Park. I've partially done that before. I've partially done that. All these trees are still fast asleep. Being careful not to wake up too soon. Because they know. They know that. I'm just going to follow this up a track. So though I feel there's a track there. I don't reckon there is. Sure, just feels like there's one there. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's the end of the walk there. There's a bit of a track. Yeah, we'll stay up here. I'll follow the deer track. Right, over and out for a minute, everyone. I'm heading that way. Right, over there, look, see? On the hill. I've come up through the old Fox and Wood area. I spotted them straight away, their big ears sticking up. A couple have stood up now. See? getting a picture of them now because they might all disappear and I might not see any at least I've seen some I normally always manage to see some they're all sitting sunning themselves they know me. I, they, they're looking over there they know I'm here they can hear me yes she know this son she's out again yes she know No, I won't hurt them. Right over there we've got Hinkley Point right over there. That's the only nuclear power station being constructed now. All the others have flopped. They haven't, they've run out of money or they're not going to be funded. Hinkley's the only one of the new style being built now. They're so committed, I suppose they can't turn back. Right, so I'm progressing out, upwards and outwards. I've come out of that wood down there. It's quite sunny, it's quite warm. It's even too warm for a jumper, really. But I'm not going to take it all off yet. So it might be windy up here, see? There's a few bikers out, a few sort of student-y looking people. I think there's another, is there another deer stood up now? I've walked over there, that's near um, Smith's Coombe. The other side of that hill is Smith's Coombe. Look at that one standing right up, he can hear me as well. He's looking over, look. Hey dearies, see that? they got brilliant hearing. They can hear people having a picnic, There's some young people having a picnic below me. They can hear them laughing, as I can. Yeah, that's quite a way off. It's good, the camera, from that point of view. The other side of that hill, like I said, is Smith's Coombe that I explored last year for the first time. I went up and down it. I'll be going right over there somewhere in a minute near the plantation then coming back up 
a very pretty valley. I, I, like I said, I haven't brought the map with me. I can't remember all the names now. It could be something like Wee Valley or something like that. I can't remember. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a bit of haze out over the channel there. Hinkley Point's getting bigger and uglier. There's the deer over there. I'm just glad I've seen them. Say hello to them this morning. There's a possibility I might see some on the way down Holford Coombe, which is where I, I'll be going back later. It's about half eleven now. I've been taking my time. I'm gradually walking up a, ste a steady incline. Um, taking photos, not doing many videos. <sighs> Just do a little bit so you get an idea of where I am. And the deer over there. I'll just zoom in one more time. So I love them. And apparently the hunting season, they hunt the does, I've heard. In the, uh, this time of year. It's not stag hunting, it's doe hunting. Quite often, I think they carry babies and stuff. I'm not sure about that bit, but that's what I was heard not long ago. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, take some photos.